Hi guys, it's Second Chance Saturday. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple ideas here. I always look for a chair rail or table legs or anything like that. Um, this was actually part of a lamp. All right. Um, you could also even look for wooden salt and pepper shakers. Because what I'm going to do, you could do with all three of these. I always watch for wood items. Um, with this, I can cut it down. Um, I think these were like um, 99 cents for the pair. I have something else in store for these. I always shop at thrift stores. Um, you never know what you might find. Um, and what I also do is I also save the lids from my candle jars. Okay, I had a lot of candles that had wooden lids, so I saved those because they make an awesome base, okay, when you have something like this. Now, what we're going to be making is an angel. Now, when you do this, make sure that these are indoor spindles, not outdoor spindles. The outdoor spindles are made with pressure treated wood and that's something that you don't want to be handling and keep indoors. Um, I have used the out, outdoor ones for this same project. I've made garden angels out of them. I just put a big spike in the bottom and shove them right in the ground. Now I have two kinds of angel wings here. I have some wooden ones that I purchased and I also have some metal ones. The metal ones work really nice outside on the outdoor angels. You're going to have to excuse me. My allergies are terrible today. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, but I'm, these are my indoor angels, so I'm going to be using some of the wooden ones. But check this out. If you couldn't get a hold of wings, you can also use bats. I mean, it's a little eerie, but... If it works, you know, you could cover these with feathers. So what I have here is I have a ball, a wooden ball that's flat on the bottom. Now this wooden ball is a two inch ball, all right? That's gonna be glued to the top of this chair leg. And this chair leg, or I think, yeah, this was a table leg. This chair leg is gonna be glued to the lid from my candle, okay? Now I have these, these are unfinished shaker pegs. They have the flat head kind, I don't know if you can see them. They have a little round, round button tip on them. But these are shaker pegs. Now what I do with my shaker pegs is I wrap them with wire. I attach wire to both around these areas here. These we're gonna be using as the arms. Okay, now what I usually do is I usually twist them around like this. Now I can, if I want, once I glue the ball, I can also put them up here as the arms. All right, so we're gonna glue the ball. First, let's glue it to the base. And this is just regular hot glue. You could use wood glue. All right, so that gets put on this. Because this is top heavy, a little bit top heavy. And at least with these um, candle lids, I thought I had another one up here, I don't. At least with these candle lids, it makes it sturdier. Now you can distress this, you can paint it all one color. You could also even add some doll hair to it. I like mine to look rustic, so I've never added those things to it. All right, then I have, yeah, oh. I had it here. Let me get it. <clears throat> you know these little um, grapevine wreaths that you find in the store? Can you see those? Well, we're going to actually be gluing that to the top of her head. All right. So let's put some glue on the top here. And you could do this to any um, any cylinder-like or square-like item. 
like you, like I said, you could even make these into little angels. You could do the same thing to these. I've even had like, I think this was part of a lamp base. Now see, this already has the rounded top. All I'd have to do is color that in, okay? Add my wings and arms, a base, and boom. We've got ourselves another angel. And it's so cool to have like different sizes in an arrangement on a table. I actually have two more of these. All right, so I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the metal wing. Yeah, I'm going to use the metal wing. These I think I got like at Factory Craft. Um, they're online. They sell a lot of these metal items. Okay, so there we got our wings. We got her on our base. So now we're going to go ahead. I just want to see where these are going to end up. If I put them here, I think this is where I want them. Let me turn this around. Actually, I want them just like that. So I'm going to just put a little dot of hot glue back here to kind of hold them in place. Okay. Because what I have here is I have these little um, battery um, LED timer tapers. These are like four inches. Now you wouldn't have to use this. You could, I've at Christmas time, I've added little arrangements here. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of cute to stick a candle in her hand. Just to kind of give you an idea. Okay. You might not want to use that size. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna get her halo on here, and you could you could color this any color you want. You could spray paint this gold if you wanted. But there you go. Doesn't she look like a really cool rustic angel? I know I've had like little stars attached to them. I've done all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, check this out. This was something I found this week. Look at this candle holder. I think it was put together. I think somebody added these beads, but it just screams different to me. I could even make that into an angel if I wanted. Why not? I could add the wings to it. Wouldn't that be really decorative as an angel? So while you're out checking garage sales, thrift stores, or whatever, watch for things like this. Watch for wooden candlesticks. Watch for wooden legs, wooden lamps, um, wooden salt and pepper shakers. Because I'll be doing stuff with those throughout, um, throughout the year. So... I would just keep watching. I have in the fact I have in the past also like added a flower here, like for the springtime. But there's so much you can do. You can decorate these, leave them up all year, and just change the centerpiece. I've done that so many times. All right, guys, that's our short little second chance Saturday. Um, be sure to watch my live on Monday night on Facebook. I will download it on Tuesdays. I will also be downloading um, videos on Thursdays that are from Wednesday. So um, stay tuned for a lot more items out of thrift store finds. You guys have a great evening, all right? Thank you.